Sham O'Reilly from Fight Talk. I'm here with a victorious Taylor Jones. Moves to 5 0, um, I believe, first stoppage. Yeah, my first stoppage. Yeah, how, how did that feel? Obviously, now you've, you've been doing well, you've been getting the victories, and now to be knocking people over. Yeah, well, um, coming up is my fifth fight, you know, I've got all my friends and family and all my supporters going, oh, when are you going to get your knockout? When are you going to get your knockout? I was just like, win's a win, you know, if the knockout comes, it's a bonus. So I've never gone looking for the knockout, really. Um, it's always been back of my mind, but I think for, me, for this camp, I've been learn, uh, been working on a lot more powerful punches, like sitting down on my feet in my stance and things like that, and trying to hurt them. Like my dad's been saying, get your spike back. That's what I'm, one thing I'm missing now. So I did when I first started boxing, but I sort of like uh, went away from it, decided to relax and box more instead of trying to hurt them. But yeah, he's been saying to me, venom, venom, spite, spite. So um, yeah, been working on a lot more strength and conditioning, things like that. You know, get I feel a bit stronger as well. So um, yeah, it paid off tonight. I felt good, the more relaxed, the more patient with my shots. And yeah, it was less shots, but that was more hurtful, hurtful quality shots instead of quantity. That's what I was on tonight, and it turned out alright. Uh, Dropped him three times. At any point, did you feel like you could get a knockout? Um, after the first one, the first knockdown, I thought it was a slip. Like, I thought I, I was catching him while, as he was moving onto it. I did a quick jab as he was moving, and it looked to me a slip personally. I thought, oh, it's just a slip. And then the referee started counting. I ain't going to moan about that, you know what I mean? That's like a 10 8 round for me, so I ain't going to take that away. But personally, I thought it was a slip. Second shot, oh, no, and then it comes to the end of the round, and my dad's been saying, um, don't let him get away, you keep letting him get away to his left, you keep letting him go. So I thought, oh, that's it, you know, he started just come around and think, so this is how it is on the first one. I think the first one was a body shot, um, walking around onto my right side, so stepped, gone to the body, the knees, taking the knee, and then the second one was around the guard to the head. Well, it might have been the other way around, I can't remember, but um, yeah, no, that's exactly what happened, worked to the plan, so yeah, it went well. Now, I know Carl's got a show here in Grays in November, I believe. Yeah, it's a proper full on dinner show. Everyone keeps asking me, details about it but I don't know I've never done a dinner show before I've been so um, yeah November 12th back at Civic Hall for a dinner show must be like dress smart casual, uh, dress smart meal thing but um, yeah nice no, what I can tell you is it's a dinner show so I can't give you much more than you that you have to get some um, some taxes made up with the, with the t-shirt yeah, yeah you know a few people have said to me oh well, what's happening with your t-shirts I was like with dinner shows you have to just have the blazer it's just have to just wear the t-shirt and the <laughs> yeah. blazer on top of it forget about the shirt and tie just have the blazer and everyone's like yeah that's what we're gonna do so it'd be quite funny to see everyone turn up in their blue t-shirts with their blazer on <laughs> but um, yeah no obviously it's a sport with blue army and that's that's what i love about them oh yeah i've got that finally got a knockout for them tonight you know what i mean a few of them have been moaning and been on my case and been on my case so i've been saying they've like, been saying if i don't get a knockout tonight they're gonna knock me out so i'm <laughs> quite happy i can not get a knockout tonight <laughs> Now um, on the on the card there was two challenge belt um, two fights for challenge belt. Is that something you're obviously very young? Is that something that interests you in your in your progression? Yeah, of course. Well, this was my, meant to be my second six round today, and obviously I only went in two rounds, so I can't tell you or myself how I've been going into the six rounds. So tonight we was looking to see how it would be on my six rounds. Pardon me, sorry. Perhaps moving it up to eight rounds in November. Like, obviously, I want to move on to eight rounds. I want to get there as quick as possible, but obviously, good, well, uh, correctly done. But, um, so, yeah, I can't really go. I felt good after two rounds today. It was one of the best I felt, you know, warming up. And they said, oh, this is, you feel sharp, you look sharp, you're feeling good today. And I felt good. I felt good today. Uh, so, um, yeah, after the second round, I, I, I could have done another eight rounds. So, um, obviously, we go back, talk to my cornerman, Matt, and Dad. Things like that. Speak, oh, what we're going to do in November, perhaps stick it up for an eight rounder. And of course, if I'm fighting an eight round, I want to be fighting and I can fight eight rounds for a belt, all well and good, like, you know, try and get a challenge belt. But um, yeah, it's just getting an eight rounder. If not, get an eight rounder in early Jan. That's when I'll be uh, back, looking to be back out again. No, no Christmas for me this year. I'll be in constant training and dieting. So, no, yeah, no Christmas dinner for me. So, no, we'll see what happens. Right, but listen, five and yeah. One knockout now, progressing, mate, and I, I, I can't wait to see you back in the next No, yeah, can I just say like, a massive thank you to obviously my cornerman Matt, my cornerman Daz, 
Um, all my friends and family have come supported, you know, been there all the time. Obviously giving me grief about knockout and things like that, giving me grief in general. Obviously <laughs> thank yourself to Fight Talk with Sam and uh, James Upton and Round 8 Boxing. And obviously thank, big thanks to my sponsors, Sugar Up, Mick Norcross and all them. I know Kirk was here tonight, glad he, got, yep. glad he enjoyed himself. And obviously my uh, team at uh, Oakfield sport thera uh, Sports Therapy Clinic, you know, with uh, Dave and Heather, you know, they've done a lot of work with me and helped me, things like that. And that had a nice few massages, which is always a bonus. But yeah, no, thanks to everyone in general. So yeah, no. big strong team behind you. Yeah, no, I've got Fan, great fans great everywhere. Group, yeah, good support with me. You know, I'm very lucky to have them. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure like, like myself, they can't wait to see you back in there. So yeah, no, definitely not. Thanks, lads. See you soon.